morning she is fully blown into mastitis and I think she's got milk fever so I was trying to give her some oral stuff but it, she was so she felt so bad she's trying to vomit so I'm rushing her to the vet I hope they just put an IV in her fluff her back up give her some calcium it's really about the best way to give calcium is through an IV I mean if you're stable you can ingest it I mean, she was so sick that she was um, shaking. She was shaking this morning. So she's in the back, and we're rushing to our local vet, who I hope can get me in. Sometimes he's so busy, he's not very good about getting me in. That's why I don't use him. I mean, he's a wonderful vet, he's, and I use him for the horses all the time. And Tim uses him for the cattle. And I've used him before. He's a very intelligent man, and he's a good, he's a, he's a great guy. I just don't like waiting two hours. I don't have two hours to wait. When I have an appointment, I want to see. Um, anyway. Anyway, my other vets, when you spend $20,000 a year with somebody, when they, when you pull in, they're like, we're so happy to see you. We're so glad you're here. And <laughs> not that I demand special treatment, but I do uh, appreciate my vets uh, working with me on a lot of things and being there for me in the middle of the night when I need them. So we're just rushing up here to Dr. Chris and see if what he thinks if this is milk fever or just mastitis doesn't matter I don't have any Batril if I'd had Batril I'd given her a shot so super duper super duper strong it's about the strongest antibiotic you want to give a shot with and I should have some I just don't I haven't used it in years I think I had some I threw it out when we moved because it had gotten old Anyway, I got a little bit of sleep last night. It felt wonderful. I started going to bed before midnight, which is just scheduling my feedings. So I fed at 9 instead of 10, so I got in bed an hour early. And everyone else is doing good. I could tell she, Caboodle, had a bit of mastitis, though, because when the puppies suck it, the milk actually has infection in it, and it gives the babies a bellyache. But the only way to get it out is to let the puppies nurse it out. So you just have to move the puppies around and make sure the same puppy isn't always nursing on that tit. And it's not generalized. Like she has eight good teats and it's only in the front one. And when they start getting mastitis, a lot of times the puppies don't want to suck. It's bitter. And so they don't want to suck it. And so I'll sit in there with her and put super duper hot wash rags on that tit and massage it when her milk drops trying to just get it all get it out and you know in a day probably in 24 hours it'll be way better in 48 hours it'll probably be gone but if you don't address it you can actually rupture the mammary gland and you know that's the way infection does it just builds and builds until it ruptures the tissue so we certainly don't want that. We take this very seriously. It's been a long time since I've had to take one actually to the vet for mastitis. I typically can handle it on my own, but I don't think this is just mastitis. I think she's got milk fever, which is not enough calcium to produce the milk she's producing, which, uh, you know, you can die. <laughs> but the body pulls calcium from your bone so that and puts it in the bloodstream so that you don't die because if you get that out of balance you can die so the body knows how to keep you from dying but when you're lactating you are producing so much milk that is pulling on your calcium so hard you can get out of balance so anyway I know five minutes of blah 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 and about the, the cattle uh, Dairy cows could get milk fever because producing so much milk that you had to be careful that they had plenty of calcium. And we would ship in alfalfa hay, semi truckloads, because it's really high in calcium. 
anyway, she's back there. She feels so bad. She came in after nursing and she sat over there on the couch by me and she, her legs were shaking. So that's kind of a sign of milk fever, the shaking, lethargic. She wouldn't take her medicine. She wouldn't eat. She wouldn't drink. <laughs> Woo Where's my flashing light? Uh, we're in the doggy ambulance going to the vet. So we are in town. I'll sign off. It's an update of my crazy life. People look at me and like, oh, well, we wish we had your life. No. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Probably not. But come visit. It's a nice place to visit. You probably just wouldn't want to live here. All right.